Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Arfat Muji from FEI Higher Secondary Institute. Today I am with chapter number 4. Chapter is Heredity and Genetics. In this chapter, my topic today is about the human evolution. How emol uh, human evolution takes place, human existence takes place on the sur uh, surface of the earth. Today I have a uh, details about the human evolution human evolution ke baare mein padhenge uh, in this way i have already mentioned uh, some pointers on the board we, i will uh, describe these pointers one by one the scientific study of human evolution on the surface of the earth is known as the anthropology isko kaha jata anthropology anthropology means scientific study of human evolution how human evolution takes place you know that the human have been evolved, uh, uh, evolved since uh, over a long period of time uh, some intermediate human human uh, some intermediate human evolution are in uh, intermediate types there are the intermediate types of the, the modern man homo sapiens sapiens that the intermediate existence of the humans are in the fossil and we have explored those fossils by uh, uh, by excavations by exploration with time dating method and by determining the dna sequencing in them and also by exploring the uh, primitive places where where there is uh, the chances of uh, of obtaining the fossils of the uh, primitive man uh, primitive generations and the, uh, we can say the uh, the intermediate types that there are the linkers connecting linkers we have we had find out the human population human pop uh, human evolution it to uh, human evolution it take a much more time uh, in the existence and the survival on the surface of earth it take a huge amount of time and uh, then uh, we uh, find out we explored out uh, by research uh, the intermediate links of of them uh, unke jo intermediate link se wo humne find out kiye hain aur bahut bahut sare humne inke ancestors mile hain jo relative in structure relative in uh, uh, physiology relative in the social social organization relative in the behavior se hame pata chalta hai that this type of intermediate human have been uh, have been ev evolved from this type of intermediate human uh, there we can say first of them uh, there are the different races of the uh, we find different races in the evolution of human that one is the negroid that are the africans uh, negroids then another is the uh, then another is the caucasian caucasian that that are the italian and english uh, species then uh, them they have the eastern which are the chinese japanese and eskimos that uh, the, then other is the mongoloid these are the different species these are the different races of of the human population we uh, find out during the evolution of human when we started to evolve uh, to find out the evolving or uh, evolving uh, parameters of the humans we find out that these different races that negroid caucasian eastern that that include the chinese japanese eskimos mongolites these different races then later on when we have through rough study about the different races of uh, different races uh, in the human evolution फिर हमें बाद में पता चला कि जैसे नेग्रोइड्स है या कॉकेशियन है ईस्टर्न मंगोलाइड्स है इनका एक कॉमन इनका एक कॉमन ओरिजिन है इनका एक कॉमन एग्जिस्टेंस है दे ऑल एग्जिस्टेंस दे आर नॉट डिफरेंट टू ईच अदर दे हैव नॉट कम फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट स्पीशीज दे दे रिप्रेजेंट द वन स्पीशीज 
although they have variations in skin color they have variations some <coughs> somewhat in the uh, physical appearance they they look like different but uh, in a social organization in the tradition in the custom in the religion they varies uh, but uh, uh, we uh, then we find out in the research that they have they these all have originated uh, by a single species that is the Homo sapiens sapiens. Homo sapiens sapiens is the modern man today's modern man today's survival uh, that it they all have originated from a Homo sapiens sapiens that is the modern man's existence. Inhi se hi ye races generate huwe hai. Inhi se hi inka hamne dekha they all have the same origin by a modern man that Homo sapiens sapiens nor they are different to each other. Although they have variation in skin, although they have variation in the uh, variation in the habitat or uh, variation in the custom variation in the religion variation in the spiritual uh, spiritual imagination they varies but uh, uh, variation in the hair style whatever the physical appearance i can say but the basic other fundamental features are common seen in the homo sapiens sapiens modern man and these uh, these different races that means these different races have a common origin of ये सारे की सारे कहां से एग्जिस्ट हुए हैं अगर इनकी हम बात करेंगे देयर कॉमन एग्जिस्टेंस इज ऑफ द होमो सेपेंस सेपेंस ये इन्हीं से ही एग्जिस्ट हुआ है ये इन्हीं का एग्जिस्ट ये इन यही इन होमो सेपेंस इज अ कॉमन ओरिजिन ऑफ ऑल दीस डिफरेंट रेसेस now uh, how where uh, earlier time the human evolution uh, take place that it is in the continent of Af africa 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 ke continent mein first uh, evolution explore kiya gaya hai wahan ke continents wahan ke places hame pata chala hai bahut sare inke bare mein that and this man has first originated in the continent of africa and then it uh, started to migrate to the uh, west uh, then it started to migrate to the west asia central asia eurasia south asia mein ye uh, migrate hua and then islands of indonesia philippines uh, then to the australia maybe is the existence who we why they started to migrate from their mother native place africa to other uh, places to other continents uh, in the world that sometimes environmental conditions not suitable due to the scarcity of food due to the um, due to the um, scarcity of water environmental climatic conditions are not uh, feasible to them to their survival then they then uh, they tend to sit out migrate to other places where they can obtain food shelter and uh, uh, other comfortable things they obtain from where therefore they prefer uh, the man is uh, is a very intelligent uh, very intelligent have a high intelligence uh, well developed brain that means he uh, he himself was uh, 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 himself was uh, so make a suitable one in a suitable environment conditions and keeps a capability of changing the nature to great extent he does not like to uh, to fit in a uh, limited resources he can uh, make an arrangement a uh, suggestion of other things by altering the natural uh, natural things by altering the natural uh, natural processes uh, so that to suit to be suitable for his or her survival that means it is a more intelligent one that means uh, this um, human being uh, human being then migrated to these places to these continents of the world where it, where they migrated to far away places then but their mother they are originated in the continent of the africa now there is there's a modern man he could originate hua hai jo iska jo nearest nearest fossil hai jisse iski existence iski khud ki existence hui hai cro magnon cro magnon 
इसकी खुद की एग्जिस्टेंस किससे हुई है क्रो मैगनोन इज इट इज अर्स्ट फोसल इज इट इज अर्स्ट फोसल इट इज इट इज अर्स्ट फोसल इज इट इज अर्स्ट फोसल ये कहा जाए जो मैड मॉडर्न मैन है इट इज अ फोसल और जो क्रो मैंगनोन है इट इज अर्स्ट फोसल ऑफ द मॉडर्न मैन दैट इज होमो सेपेनस सेपेनस अबाउट किस क्या कितना टाइम का है अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स एबो दिस फोसल एग्जिस्टेंस देन इट इज द ओल्ड ऑफ दिस टाइम इट इज नॉट ए स्मॉल टाइम ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स ओल्ड फोसल क्रो मैगनोन फ्रॉम वायर द मॉडर्न मैन जिससे मॉडर्न मैन खुद एग्जिस्ट हुआ है दिस नियरेस्ट फोसल क्रो मैगनोन विच इज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स एबो ओल्ड एज फोसल एंड देन दिस मॉडर्न मैन सर्वाइवल देन इट इज एग्जिस्टेंस टू एंड इट इज सेपरेट to the for to the different continents of the world it took the thousand years approximately to have it is on one foot printers on different continents of the world it took approximate thousand years uh, this modern man to have separate globally in the world that means it is the about the human population where it is existence takes place and uh, uh then now these days we see it in a modern man that is homo sapiens sapiens now uh, i will uh, tell you about the intermediate jo iske intermediate species rahe hai modern man ke wo kya kya hai wo so i will write a few about them here no i will write the intermediate types of humans intermediate intermediate types of humans those intermediate types of humans are number 1 they are the number 1 that is the homo erectus homo that is erectus homo erectus it is commonly known as a java man java man it is the primitive one among the human uh, in a, in a human evolution homo erectus then second is the it is primitive one not most primitive one that then other another is the homo another one this is the intermediate jo jo, uh, jo modern man evolution se pehle ye intermediate iske ancestors rahe hai homo erectus Homo erectus, that is Homo erectus, Pachyn, Pachynensis, Pachynensis, that is known as the packing man, pack, packing, packing man, packing man, commonly known is as. Then third is the is the Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. It is Homo sapiens neanderthalus. Neander neanderthalensis. It is known as the common. It is known as the neanderthal neanderthal man. It is commonly known as neanderthal man. then it is homo sapiens homo sapiens neanderthalensis this is commonly known as neanderthal this is the most uh, earliest uh, this is the most uh, close nearby fossil of the modern man from this is the another fossil here the homo sapiens fossil homo it is fossil it was find as a fossil homo sapiens homo s a p a i e n s it is sorry right here the word homo sapiens it is homo 
Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens fossils. This is the word Homo. Then is the another Homo. This is known the Cro Magnon. Cro Magnon. Magnon. Man. It is very closest to fossil. It is very closest to fossil to the modern man. From this have been evolved. The here the fifth one is the latest one. Here is the Homo sapiens sapiens. Sapiens. Yeah. Homo sapiens. It is a small name. Sapiens. Sapiens. These days it is the modern modern man. This is the latest man in the evolution. As here is the descent of the primitive uh, man, then gives the existence of this, and this gives the existence of this ne Neanderthal man, and from this uh, Cro Magnon man, then here is the existence. It is the first, it is the second, it is third, it is fourth. This is the today modern man's existence. This is all about the existence of human population, the scientific study of human population, uh, its origin, uh, where it takes place, uh, the scientific study of its evolution is known as anthropology. Dear students, it is all about the human population. Now is the another question here, uh, evolution and versus progress. If there is evolution and there is the formation of new species, a new species is with new variations, but we should not totally, totally divide off the primitive species. We should not totally cancel out the primitive species. These days also the primitive species from where a new species existence take place, uh, they also survive on the surface of the earth. Here is the evolution versus progress. Evolution, it is the next question. Evolution versus progress. Yeah, aapke do textbook me question bhi hai, wo hai, evolution should not be, evolution should not be, should not be equated with progress. Progress is right, but we should not only take into consideration progress. It is the question. Here is the last question of this chapter. Here, uh, if there is progress in a progress, uh, uh, there is a formation of new species with new complexity, with new variations, new, new with modification. But we should not uh, give the importance to the new species existence and it is wholly and solely survival on the surface of the earth. But uh, we have to understand, we, uh, we should be comprehend of about that this type, this uh, new species uh, which, which uh, the, with this this day at this time looks uh, different uh, species from its primitive species although it had it uh, have been exist from the from its pre uh, pre uh, existing species that it has been descent from the pre, uh, pre existing species we should not cancel out the primitive species with the older character characters with the uh, simpler life forms you know about the uh, primitive type of bacteria rk bacteria how they throw uh, very strongly in a harsh climatic conditions those primitive type of bacteria survival in the hot springs extreme dry temperature extreme temperatures cold uh, in a cold water that means they survive uh, in the harsh climatic conditions still they are present in these days those type of bacteria okay bacteria they are the most primitive type of bacteria prokaryotes they are or uh, first originate on the surface of the earth we should not cancel out they still are surviving that means their ancestors gen ancestors ne gen ancestors say a new species nay variation ke saath exist hua hai 
और इस इस लिहाज से हमें इन एनसिस्टर्स को इन प्रिमिटिव स्पीस को नज़रअंदाज नहीं करना है वो शुड ऑलवेज टेक दम इन टू ए कंसिडरेशन वो शुड ऑल्सो सिटल हैव ए नॉलेज अबाउट दैम दैट मीन दे आर सिटल द सर्वाइवल ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ दीज डेज वन मिनट यहाँ मेरा गर्ज है कि जो यहाँ पे न्यू स्पीशीज एग्जिस्ट होता है न्यू स्पीशीज कम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इट हैव ऑब्वियसली डिसेंट फ्रॉम द प्री एग्जिस्टिंग प्री एग्जिस्टिंग प्री एग्जिस्टिंग स्पीशीज नो मैटर दैट दिस न्यू स्पीशीज और विद इट इज इट इज विद वेरिएशन इट इज विद वेरिएशन and successfully flourish uh, success uh, successfully uh, successfully flourished and no matter uh, it is successfully flourished in that part of environment and it is with new modification which suit which is suitable to him him or her but we should not cancel out the pre existing species we should also take them into consideration and also these new species comes into complex in structure complex shebash in structure they also uh, is with of complex in structure few characters or that mean with new species jo complex in uh, structure hai then the pre existing species which are simpler in characters a uh, simpler in structure and new species where with a uh, good variations with new variation uh, successfully they are flourished on the surface of the earth uh, on that part of the environment they are suitable they successfully thrive they uh, gain their number they become a dominant species to that part of area to that part of environment but we should not cancel out should we should not should not cancel it out आउट आउट दीज हमें इनको बिल्कुल कैंसल आउट नहीं करना है सिटल दे आर सर्वाइवल सिटल दीज आर सिटल दीज आर सर्वाइवर ऑन द शब सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ सिटल दे आर सर्वाइवल सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ that means you know that the concept of evolution is like a tree that means it have many branch and those branches give the new branches new branches you might have seen that uh, study in the uh, classification uh, that in ninth class chapter mein chapter 3 mein padha hoga ki kis tarah ek फाइलम से दूसरा फाइलम एग्जिस्ट होता है किस तरह यहाँ हम देखेंगे जो आर्थोपोडा या एनालीडा है उनसे कैसे आर्थोपोडा एग्जिस्टेंस हुई है आर्थोपोडा से कैसे मतलब इकाइनोडर्मेटा इसी तरह से जो हमें बात हम कर लेंगे मतलब फिशेस की किन से इनसे एम्फीबियंस निकले इनसे कैसे कनेक्ट लिंक है इनके रेप्टाइल्स और रेप्टाइल्स को कैसे कनेक्ट लिंक है विद ए वज एंड ए वज दैन विद द मैमल्स हाउ ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म डिसेंट फ्रॉम द प्री एग्जिस्टिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑल दो डैट ऑर्गेनिज्म इज सिंपलर इन स्ट्रक्चर एंड and dominant in number still there is the existence of new species in a smaller in number first one of their existence takes place with small in number but they with time when they successfully flourish on the surface of the earth in that part of the environment and that small number gains and big number uh, they they are educate in number and they are successfully flourish on the surface of earth with new variation with no, new modification suitable for uh, 
uh, for his or her survival on the surface of earth the concept is genetic drift how small number of population now is in a huge number of population but uh, there is always a connecting link uh, from where this new species uh, if it is in existence it existed from the primitive organisms primitive species and those primitive species we should not ignore we should not cancel out they are still survival they are still uh, surviving on the surface of earth and they are very important uh, about the, they are very important about us to know the concept of evolution to know the connecting links to know the uh, natural modifications natural complexity to know about the fossils to know about there that means uh, primitive species play important role in understanding the world by the beginning shuru se kaise exist hue hai living organism se shuruaat kaisi hui hai or at the at the peak at the modern time at the modern era टाइम पीरोडिक टाइम मॉडर्न पीरोडिक टाइम में किस तरह एक न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म किन कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी के साथ आ रहे हैं और यहाँ पे आपको बिल्कुल डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग वर्ल्ड में आपको बहुत सारे एग्जांपल्स ऐसे मिलेंगे कि जिनसे हमें बेखूबी से पता चलता है कि एक न्यू स्पीशीज के किस तरह इनकी एग्जिस्टेंस और किस तरह इनकी एग्जिस्टेंस होती है नए मोटिफिकेशन नए वेरिएशन के साथ असल में इन्होंने खुद खुद इन्होंने खुद इन्होंने अपनी एग्जिस्टेंस ली है प्री एग्जिस्टिंग स्पीशीज से विच आर सिंपलर एंड विच आर प्रीमेटिव इन फॉर्म यहाँ इस तरह का हम देखा देखेंगे कि किस तरह एक मतलब यहाँ प्रोग्रेस एवोल्यूशन देर इज अ प्रोग्रेस देर इज अ प्रोग्रेस इन द स्पीशीज देर इज प्रोग्रेस जैसे कि एक नई नई गाड़ी गाड़ी अलग अलग जो आज कल जो गाड़ीज आती है जो कंपनी डिज़ाइन करते हैं अलग अलग मॉडिफिकेशन के साथ सिटल कुछ ना कुछ मॉडिफिकेशन उसमें अभी भी पुरानी मॉडिफिकेशन से रिजम्बल होती है अगर हम देखेंगे कि आज कल जो भी आपको गाड़ी मिलती है डिज़ाइन के साथ कभी स्टेयरिंग इसकी जो होती है कभी वो अभी उसमें वैसा कुछ बदलाव नहीं आया उसमें वैसा कुछ ऑल्टरनेटिव नहीं आया यही स्टेयरिंग ऐसे ओल्ड एज व्हीकल्स में हुआ करते थे अभी तक जो गाड़ियों का अगर हम देखेंगे गियर सिस्टम अभी भी वही मॉडिफाइड फॉर्म में अभी भी वही फॉर्म में आ रहा है अभी लेटेस्ट गाड़ियों में तो अभी तो बहुत सारे कंपनी जो है नए नए मॉडिफिकेशन ला रहे हैं अपने गाड़ियों में जो कार कंपनी है दे ब्रिंग से इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मॉडिफिकेशन लॉट ऑफ डिजिटल मॉडिफिकेशन मतलब लेस फ्यूल कंज्यूमिंग एफिशिएंसी इंजन और डिजाइन नाउ अगर हम देखेंगे पुराने जमाने में जो कार्स रन रन Uh, on fuel is still the uh, these days cars also still uh, running on the petrol diesel कोई बदलाव नहीं आया कुछ ना कुछ characters resemble होते हैं ancient characters से primitive characters से और हमें progress their progress is good progress is convenient progress is suitable to these days but we should not ignore the primitive organisms primitive species जहाँ से हमें origin मिला है अगर यहाँ से एक origin मिलता है तो यहाँ से एक दूसरा origin मिल रहा है a this is b from b there is also the modification c then here is modification the d also here we can say the if there is the e here is also then the modification is the here is the uh, e then from the e there is the f that means अगर हम देखेंगे there are the connecting links there are connective links between the f e d if there are the present day species still if we go to their existence if we go to their uh, primitive characters they are still ascending अगर हम इनका लिंक देखेंगे d कहाँ से exist हुआ c c खुद का exist कहाँ से हुआ b से b खुद कहाँ से exist हुआ है a से what is a it is the original original species इन्हीं original species से एक new species exist हुई है तो हमें इसको बिल्कुल इग्नोर नहीं करना है वी हैव टू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन यही कॉन्सेप्ट है एवोल्यूशन शुड नॉट बी इक्वेटेड विद प्रोग्रेस इफ दिस इज आल्सो द न्यू स्पीशीज 
and it it is also a new species that they have their origin they have common ancestor that means this has this has a common ancestor this is a common ancestor common and sister we have to take it into the consider consideration because they are still still living surviving still uh, repro reproduce we should not ignore the primitive type of organism this is the all about the concept about the uh, evolution should not be equated with progress dear students i completed this chapter with this question now we are going uh, to sit out the term second uh, examination syllabus thank you very much